All right, so Eke Hirtus. Hirtus, Nikesa est ei, um, trace libros per legere. Said, quid agit Hirtus? Hirtus legit? Mini me. Mini me. Non legit. What are we saying about him right now? What are we saying about him? Oh, he's not reading. He's not reading. Quid agit? Television in spectat. Yum. Ut essay sapiens. Ut essay sapiens. To be clever. Nikesa est spectare televisionem? Mani me. Nikesa est libros legere. None? Told him to read the Lord of the Swings. Ah, hey, seek. Hey, yum. Hey. Yum. Eke. Okay. Nikesa est. Oh, oh, oh. Eus hirti de siste de siste televisionem spectare et yam eke hirtius librum habet sedet et legit optime. Oh, see, fortasse um, etiam in capet. Maybe he already began the book. Ha <laughs> Nay, nay. Yum. Hirtus, yum, legit. So if you wanted to include that as one of your sentences, you could. I said several of them that are pretty simple sentences. I got hirtus, said it. Uh, hirtus, legit. And of course, you can always use et. Remember? For and, and you can just join those two ideas. Hirtus, said it, et legit. And now it's a more complex sentence. But again, if you're writing a sentence, here to you, set it. The guy is sitting. That is fine. Hmm. Nikesa asked, emere aliquid. Emere. This is another one of these that we've got to use kind of every once in a while. They do come up in the book, but I don't think that we're going to see them until next year, to be honest. So you got emere and wendere. Emere means to buy, and wendere means to sell. Quid. Uh, could a sentence be hertus, sedet, et, legit, seek. Excellent. Yes. So yeah, remember that you can use proper nouns like that. So you could say something like, uh, like if you wanted to, to say that he was watching TV, right? Uh, you could say that he's watching something on TV, for example. You could use a specific, um, like you couldn't say he's watching sports, but you could say he's watching Sports Center, right? Because that's a proper noun. Oh, for that, if you wanted to specifically describe the book, you could say liber est. Bloop. The book is blah, blah, blah. So that could, you could describe the book and what it's called. You could also describe, you know, liber est bonus, liber est malus, liber est ridiculous. Honestly, I think you should have um, not turned on pause because it'll take forever for him to read those books. Oh, seek, seek. Said, nolo eum legere. Oh, visne eum per legere. Yeah, he's dancing. He's just sitting there. He's doing outdoors work. He's trying to figure out. Okay, invite him in. Invite him in. He just finally turned the page after like two hours of reading the same two pages. Etiam legit. Can my guy invite him? Legit, et legit, et legit. No, 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 no,
Mirabile. Oh, librum per legit. So if you wanted, if you wanted to say he finished the book, you can't say it like he is finishing the book because that's weird. You have to say he finished the book. Now, in Latin, one of the things we will start seeing in stage six is that words change a little bit when you go into the past tense. It's not as easy as just tacking on a, a suffix or a prefix, sorry, a prefix like we do in um, English. All right, let's let, him, let's let him talk, that's fine. So what we do for certain words like legate, and listen, I want you to listen to the difference. Legate means so-and-so is reading. Legate means that person read. And it looks like this. Yeah, it's the long E. So if we wanted to say librum per legate, that would mean he finished the book. All right. So. Uh, libro per lecto, now that the book's been finished, quid necessa est, augure necessa est, artem logicae exercere. Quid est? That is, that's Corvus, that's Corvus. I like watching conversation follow Yeah. Ut. Oh, they probably are. Ut artem. Eos, eos, eos. Ego flocking non facio. Flocking non facio. Nihil curo. Nihil curo. What I just said is I don't give a hoot about that. I don't care. All right? It is unimportant. All right? What is important to me is the Latin that I'm trying to teach you using this as a distraction. But if we get too distracted by it, then we can't use it at all. Okay? So it doesn't matter if the game's visuals are crappy. That's irrelevant. What's relevant is the words I'm trying to tell to you. Okay? So, hmm, ut. Artem logikai est a hic. Let me find it at. Ut artem logikai exerceat. Artem logikai exerceat. Nekes est libros legere. Hmm. Non, non, non. Uh, ah. It's a good thing that if he was still reading, we could have asked this question, but it, we'll just try to imagine. When we saw him reading, we didn't see that little bar pop up over his head. Right? The, remember, when we see that bar pop up over their head, it means they're learning. Disk it. So in order to ut artem logikai exerceat, nekesa est emere aliquid. Emere aliquid. We've got to buy something. Hmm, nos inspiciamos. I'm not 100% sure. There's one thing in particular that I'm thinking of that we need to get, but I'm not sure if it's the one that we want to get, and we will consult with Chase. Haha. <laughs> yeah, hmm. Known. S plus. Hmm, de floribus, de photographia. Hmm, artem logicae exerceant atique? No. Potesne artem logicae exercere ucum birota? Mini me. Hmm, ooh, mirabile, an ice rink. Oh. Why the ice rink so cheap? S non. Hmm, non. Oh, aha, okay. Ut artem logikai exerceat nekes est habere ludum. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, uh, es bene. 
Yam Eke. Yam Habet. Hmm. Would be a, a tik. Yam. Yam Habet. Ludum Latrunculorum. So first up, this is the word ludus that we've seen before. That's your general word for game. And this one, you don't have to remember. Ludus, I want you to remember that one. Latrunculorum is how you say chess. Or latrunculi is the chess pieces. And this literally means the game of chess pieces or the game of chess. Right? So there's not an easy way of saying it. But again, you don't necessarily need to say it. Like you could say something like, uh, Hertius ludum ludit. It would be a very simple way of saying that he's playing a game. Ludum ludit. So what does that mean to be like, Icarus, Oh, if you want to say that, you could say, Hertius ludum emit. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's uh, some of these words we have to be very descriptive with them in ways that is awkward and not efficient. All right, yam habet hertius. Again, like we've said before, that phrase I'm saying yam habet. Now he has yam habet hertius ludum ad logikai uh, exerkendam or logikam exerkendam uh, ah nekasa es wiwere. All right, so I have not been um, I have not been keeping up with the sentences that I've written down. I have not put those up onto my uh, board here. So if there's any specific sentences that you need assistance writing, uh, either those of you online or those of you in person, just let me know. Why are we not living yet? All right. So here to use. Ubi sit. Oh, quid. Hirtus non potest ludere quia non habet selam. Ah, oh, that's ridiculum. Ut ludum ludat. So, what are we trying to get him to do? Play the game, yeah, play the game. In order to play the game, what does he need? He oh, Nikesa asked, Selam. He could, he could just get a chess bot. Because I know, I know they make like computer bots. Gracias. Duas, Selas. Duas, Selas. Emery. Again, Emery means to buy, as we saw earlier. Again, this Nikesa asked, what does that mean again? Yeah, it is necessary, or they need to do this. You can think of it both ways. So they need to buy two chairs. And it's funny. Maybe I should think of a different word. No, 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 it's OK. It's technically it's the same word. We were doing a similar thing in uh, one of the, the houses that we had at DSMS didn't have any furniture. And so they, we needed to like buy a toilet so that they could go to the bathroom. The word for toilet is also. Sella, a chair or a throne, right? Uh, technically, it's like your cella lavatoria, your bathroom chair, but yeah. it's easier to call it a cella. Except with, except with, um, with the toilet, it's made out of porcelain. See, like, uh, no, 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 puto. <laughs> There's also, I would not recommend standing on a toilet. Yeah, um, Nikesa asked, oh, okay. <laughs> It's a great uh, stance. All right, yum. Hmm. Nikesa asked, oh, fortasse has selas bonisunt? Hmm. Bene. Duas selas alias. Bonum you dam. Yum. Eke hik. Et yum hik. Yam unam selam habet. Oh my gosh, it's gaming chairs. At yam. There's gaming racing chairs. Yeah. 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 Yellow versus blue. I thought that that was like for some of the Non flower. Non est in flower. Calori. Arantium. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. 
Ridiculum.